Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here. It's a little windy out, but we today we're at Tipsy McStaggers here in Warren, Michigan to do their 50 in 15 challenge. So this is a wing challenge, a chicken wing challenge, where you have 15 minutes to eat 50 of their Tipsy wings. So this Tipsy is a flavor, I just found out. I thought it was just 50 wings, you gotta pick your choice of sauce. But these Tipsy wings, so apparently it's like a mix of seven herbs and spices. Apparently they are spicy. Wasn't expecting that, so, but I already ordered it. So, 50 spicy wings in 15 minutes. I just went and did that uh, burrito at the Royal Oak. Uh, I'm gonna meet my friend Matt here, uh, that just ate with me. Uh, I don't think he's gonna do the challenge though, so let's head on in, see what we can do. Should be a lot of fun. Um, from my understanding, the challenge, I think it's undefeated. If you do not complete the challenge, it is $45. If you do win, you get the wings for free, a $25 gift card, and a t-shirt. So let's head on in, see what we can do, and let's go. All right, everybody, so here is the 50 and 15. So 15 minutes to eat all of these massive wings. All right, and let's start at the count of five, four, three, two, one. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we are at Tipsy McStaggers in Warren, Michigan. So this is kind of a suburb of Detroit, just north of Detroit. Um, and here, this restaurant, Tipsy McStaggers, has a couple challenges. They have the Tipsy Tower, which is a large burger challenge, which I did previously before. And here, now they have the 50 in 15, which is to eat, as I explained, 50 of their Tipsy wings, which is a flavor, actually. It's like a marinade. It's not like a sauce. It's kind of like... I don't want to call it a dry rub because it's not rubbed on, but it's basically these wings are marinated for 24 hours in this sauce, like marinade, and then cooked. Oh, there is a technique on the flats. Oh, yeah. That's a technique. Look at the technique. Just, you know, come on. <laughs> So I did enjoy the flavor of the wings, and the best way I can describe it is kind of like just a salty, spicy, kind of mixed flavor. Those are good sized wings, that's no peanut. Those are, those are good size. They're pretty good. Yeah. And these things really were actually quite large, especially for what I'll call like a pub wing. I'm used to pub wings being quite small, but definitely these ones were on the larger size. Um, so as we mentioned though, we have 15 minutes to eat these 50 wings. Um, it was, I think it would be a little easier if they were kind of sauced. I did get a little bit of sauce on the side that I could dip some of my wings in. You can see it in the bottom left corner there. Um, and then there was the celery, which was given on that little bowl, although that was not actually required for the challenge. It was just like a garnish. Um, and no, the lettuce leaves weren't required for the challenge either. Um, at this point though, my mouth was definitely burning from the sauce, and especially because it was kind of like, if this makes sense, like dried or caked on um, the chicken as it transferred onto my face, it would just kind of sit there and burn. But it was a secret recipe, and it was pretty tasty. And with that, everybody, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy, and please note this is how you eat wings. If you ever wanted a wing technique video, enjoy right here. Yeah, yeah. Technique. Technique. Technique for sure. We'll see who's got the capacity. <laughs> <laughs> 
don't know. All right, so now here is how to eat chicken wings. First, we have to understand that there are two different types of chicken wings and they each have their own unique technique. This right there is a flat. The flat is the one with two bones. It is flat compared to the other one, whereas the drum, which is that right there, is a round, almost drum leg looking thingy thing. So now let's go to the technique of them. So for the drum, you're basically gonna grab it and you're gonna use your teeth and your fingers to rotate the drum as if it's kind of like a uh, corn on the cob or you know really however you want to classify it but basically you're putting the meat on your teeth and you're scraping it um, around and really pulling the meat off of it now for the flat which I'm eating now the two bones I prefer to first grab both ends of the flat so you're holding on to the bones just like that then I push the meat in towards the center while holding on to the bone. This causes it to kind of come dislodged from the bone, and then you can just stick it in your mouth and essentially pull the meat off with your teeth. Now, under the circumstance that there still be meat in the middle, which does happen occasionally, depends how the wings are cooked, etc., you put the wing in your mouth as such, and then pull the two bones apart and pull the meat off in between. That method is called the uh, um, a, a lollipop or umbrella method, uh, most notably. But essentially, you have the uh, typewriter, like that right there, for the drum. I also still kind of push the meat up. Sometimes it helps dislodge it. And then you have the little push lollipop umbrella method for the flats. So we're about five minutes in. It's going well. The wings are actually pretty spicy, but here we go. <laughs>
Yeah, there's no cheat. There's no cheating over there. Yeah, I think it's I know. <laughs> Just over 10 minutes in, two wings left. And we're officially done the challenge. That time there. But celery is optional, we might as well get our vegetables in, so. Dessert. Oh, awesome. So just finish up that challenge. I think the time was like 11 minutes, about 11 minutes, almost on the dock. Um, very tasty. My mouth is burning. I think I probably have like a bit of a joker mask going on right here. Um, a little spicier than I thought they would be again, but all of my mouth is burning. So I'm gonna go wash out. My wings were tasty, no complaints there. So a really cool challenge. We are officially the first to complete this challenge since it's brand new emergence. Um, so that I wanna give a huge thanks to everybody here at Tipsy McStaggers in Warren, Michigan. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for everybody coming out to watch. Until next time, everybody, stay happy, healthy, hungry, and happy eating. And again, huge thanks to Mr. Matt coming out to support me for this challenge. He, uh, he sat this one out, but it was uh, an excellent day full of eating, a lot of fun, and I uh, look forward to next time. I think, I think Matt's going to come crush some of these challenges here shortly.